They have no nothing. And their honorable men are family. And our honorable men are family. Let me tell you what that means. Our Dr. Umar Johnson, you know who that is? Okay, you don't know who that is. Your Boyce Watkins, your Martin Luther Kings, your Malcolm X's, the mighty men that, that stood up for our people at one time, right? God said they still famished, meaning they still hungry for knowledge. All the knowledge that they got, they still don't have the main knowledge, which is why are we in the conditions we in today? Right. Therefore, hello, have the Lord yourself. What did God say? Listen real close. Listen real close, brother. Read. Therefore, hell, have the Lord yourself. We in hell, sis. We in hell. When you get a when you get a police officer pulling up behind you late at night and you don't know if you're going home to your family, you in hell. Right. When you when you go to the clinic and he say, I'm gonna test you for HIV. And that's seven days that you waiting to get that test back because you know you slept with Charlie without a condom. Did everybody say got that thing? Or you sleep with a man out of wedlock and you don't know what the result's gonna be? That's hell. When you look up McDowell and you see the potholes in our streets, when you see the A-Rab come in our neighborhood and make millions off of us and put his kids through college, when the, Ch the Chinese man punching our women in the face in Oklahoma at the weed show, telling her to hurry up and buy, Ooh. that's hell right there. Right. Read what you got to hear, bro. hell! Have the Lord yourself! Now we living in hell right now. Look at our young men. Look at the greatest men God ever created. Look at the greatest women God ever created. We're the greatest people on earth. The only reason we only reason we in the condition we in today is because we got a God in heaven that we don't listen to. The men, not the boys, the heavens should pass away with a great noise. The second Peter 3 and 10. God know he coming back. Tell a friend to repent. Oh, he going with the wind. Free smoke, free smoke. And that is thus said the Lord. I caught a murder that he wrote. Just like Noah on the boat. Matthew 24, verse 36 on down. The hour nobody knows. Like a thief in the night. When the Christ coming back here, life switching with the Father won't. That's my baby when we keep it low. That's righteousness. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a pass test. My people scattered abroad. From the east to the west. Yeah, but I'm saying though, you said we part of the universe. If we part of the universe, that means we all powerful. How this happened to us? How this happened to us, bro? What? What happened? Right. The Bible tell you why this happened, bro. You understand? But you can't, you can't dwell on the past. No, 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 no. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Cause you don't see. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me tell you. What's your name again? What's your name again? What's your name again? Job eight and eight. Hold on, listen, listen. Hold on, listen, listen real quick. What's your name again, bro? What's your name? My name is Clarence Woods. Get what? Give me some Give me some Your brother, your brother here. Let me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We let you talk. You've been talking about five minutes straight. Now let us do what we do. All right. Job eight and eight. Job chapter eight in verse eight. Listen what the Bible says. All right. Come on. For inquire, I pray thee. Of the former age. God said inquire of the former age. Right? Read. And prepare thyself to search of their father. And prepare yourself for the search of your fathers. You know what that mean? That mean prepare yourself to find out why the things that happen to our people happen to our people. Because guess what? They don't teach us that in America. They don't teach us that in the school system. They don't teach us that in the prisons. They don't teach our people why we went into slavery. Why we was forced on slave ship. Fourth of July coming up, right? Right. 1776, right? The Independence Day for America, right? What was the black man in 1776? Bring it up. 
Where were we? Bring it out. We was in the slave field picking cotton for free. Right. Yeah, so that ain't our independence. Hold on, stop, stop, stop. I let you talk. I got I gotta finish. The reason that these things happen to us is because we're God's people and we won't keep his laws. You mentioned about heaven and hell. I'm gonna show you something about hell real quick. You got the Isaiah 513 I had? Watch this. Read, listen to this real close. Read. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 13. Listen. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. God says, therefore, if I did so we we going into captivity. That's why we pick cotton for free. No reparations. 2019 still ain't got no reparations, right? That's why we went on slave ships, forced to do all these things. Hold on, listen. Forced to make this country the greatest country on planet Earth, and we still hadn't got any recompense for it. So listen, God said, my people are gone into captivity. You hear me, brother? My people are gone into slavery. Great. Because they have no knowledge. Because we have no knowledge. All that uh, constellations of the universe and stars alignments and horoscopes and stuff like that, the astrology, that ain't of us. That's not, that's not our knowledge. That's right. not, hold on. That's knowledge that the white man taught us. That's knowledge that they teach us in their universities. You know why they teach us that knowledge? To take us away from this knowledge. God said, the reason we in slavery is because we lack knowledge. Read. Right. Bring it out. Amen. Because they have no knowledge. Read. And their honorable men are famine. And our honorable men are famine. Let me tell you what that means. Our Dr. Umar Johnson. You know who that is? Okay, you don't know who that is. Your Boyce Watkins. Your Martin Luther Kings. Your Malcolm X's. The mighty men that, that stood up for our people at one time, right? God said they still famished, meaning they still hunger for knowledge. All the knowledge that they got, they still don't have the main knowledge, which is why are we in the conditions we in today? Right. Read. And, and their multitude dried up with thirst. You know how we dried up with thirst? Look at our streets. Where are our gardens? Where are our hospitals? Where is our government? Right. Where is our police force? Right. Where is our banks? Where are our schools? God said we are dried up with thirst in America. Hey, Wait. Listen, listen, bro. You got to listen. You got to be swift to hear. Wait. Now, Lord, hell, have the Lord yourself. What did God say? Listen real close. Listen real close, brother. Read. Therefore, hell, have the Lord yourself. We in hell, sis. We in hell. When you get a, when you get a police officer pull up behind you late at night and you don't know if you're going home to your family, you in hell. Right. When you when you go to the clinic and he say, I'm going to test you for HIV. And that's seven days that you waiting to get that test back because you know you slept with Charlotte without a condom. Did everybody say got that thing? Or you sleep with a man out of wedlock and you don't know what the results going to be? That's hell. When you know that your people pick cotton in America to make America the greatest country on earth, especially here in the South. That's why they say things like, we got old money. You see what I'm saying? Hold on, stop, stop, stop. You got to let me finish, bro. We out here to teach, bro. You understand? We out here to teach. When you look up McDowell and you see the potholes in our streets, when you see the A-Rab come in our neighborhood and make millions off of us and put his kids through college, when the, Ch the Chinese man punching our women in the face in Oklahoma at the weed show, telling her to hurry up and buy, that's hell right there. Right. Read what you got again, bro. Therefore, hell have the Lord herself. Now we living in hell right now. Look at our young men. Look at the greatest men God ever created. Look at the greatest women God ever created. We're the greatest people on earth. That's right. The only reason we only reason we in the condition we in today is because we got a God in heaven that we don't listen to. You know who we listen to? This right here. Right. They taught us this was Jesus, didn't they, sis? Didn't they teach us this was Jesus? You don't think this has an effect on us? That's my sister right there. Now hold on, hold on. That's my sister right there, right? Beautiful black woman, right? Yeah. Why she got blonde in her hair? Bring it up. Bring it up. Why? Because the white man got blonde in his hair. Right. And the white man told you that blonde was beautiful and nappy was whack. He told you that white was right and black was whack. Now in 2019, we got sisters bleaching their whole body. Because they hate their black skin. Why? Who taught us that? Why is that? You beautiful, sis. You don't need to put no blonde in your hair. You beautiful. Your hair perfect. It's perfect the way it is, sis. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 31. That's what we out here to do. We out here to teach our people why this happened. Because until we know why this happened, we don't know how we get out of here. Hey, guess what? When you still in slavery today, what's your last name? Your name El Shabazz. You changed it legally to El Shabazz? Let me see your identification. 
Exactly. exactly. You know, you, no, a tattoo ain't your last name. Because if you go to jail, they ain't gonna look on the back on your back and say, oh, his name is Hell's Spag. They gonna say, Neil, give me your uh, give me your birth certificate. That ain't your name, bro. Isaiah 65 verse 15. Isaiah 65 verse 15. You showed me a picture of somebody locked up in the concentration camp, starved to death, and they ain't ate, and they were beaten. It's happening over here in the hood right now. Your niggas up there right now eating steak and potatoes. Who is what niggas? Cause it ain't nobody. So my sister, sister, I don't don't get distracted. The Bible says we was gonna serve our. And this right here, see, let me show you what this is. Give me Mark chapter four, verse fourteen. Bring it up. This happened every time. My brother Tay Tay was listening. My sister pulled up the listing. I want you to hear something, sis. Because every time we come out and teach the Bible, the same thing happens every time. It's always interruptions. It's always people that ain't talking about nothing that come to interrupt to take the word from you, to take the word from y'all. Watch this, read. Book of Mark, chapter 4 and verse 14. The sower soweth the word. We the ones sowing the word right here. We teaching our people, right, read. And these are they by the wayside. We got Tay Tay on the wayside. I didn't get your name, bro. Dietrich. Dietrich on the wayside. My sister on the wayside. Y'all listening, right, read. Where the word is on. Read. But when they have heard, when you start to hear the word and start to agree with the scriptures, what happened? Satan cometh immediately. What happened? Satan cometh immediately. Here come the devil. Talk about they eat steak and shrimp in the damn jailhouse. They still in the jailhouse. Right. It don't matter what you eat. Right. You still in jail. Right. That makes no sense. This book, this read what you got. Where you at? Mark what? Mark chapter 4 and verse 14. So he had Mark chapter 4, verse 14, 15. Before y'all leave, give me five more minutes here before y'all leave. Where we at? Let me just tell you two things that we out here to do. All right? Isaiah 58, verse 1. Because we just read what God said, since we don't have knowledge, now you're looking at hell. That food depot up the street, what kind of food, what kind of food do you think they're selling us? Why can't we get a Whole Foods on this side of town? Right. Dude. Why can't we get a Chick Fil A on this side of town? Right. Why can't we get a Saxby's on this side of town? Dude. Why? Because we the people of God, and they want to continue to feed us poison. But guess what? I can go up and down this road, and I can count five liquor stores. Five liquor stores. Why? Because God is telling us nobody loves us but us. We gotta right. love ourselves, that's and that's right. what we out here to do because we love our people. Read what you got. Watch this, sis. Isaiah chapter fifty-eight and one. Read. The Bible tells us to cry aloud. That's why we got the microphone. Read. Spare not. And don't spare our people's feelings. That's why I can't spare his feelings. He may get emotional. He may get aggravated. But guess what? If you was running out in the street right there, what you want me to say? Hey, sis, watch out. There's a car. Or what you want me to say? Sis, get out the road. It's a car. You're about to get hit. Which one would you rather me do? The second. The latter, right? To let you know. That's why we got to come out and not spare our feelings, the feelings of our people. Read. Lift up thy voice. Like a trumpet. Anybody ever heard a trumpet? It's loud. A trumpet is loud. Right. Read. And show my people. And show who? Show my people their transgression. Since did you know who God people was? Because God got a people. God ain't just the God of everybody. God has a chosen people. Who is his chosen people, brother Dietrich? The Israelites. The Israelites. That's right. That's right. You're a chosen right. people, brother Tate. You. My sister in the car, my other, my other, that's sister, I can't tell you, sister too. Both my sisters, y'all are Israelites. Y'all are God's chosen people. God says, show my people what? Their transgression. Read. And the house of Jacob, their sin. And show the house of Jacob their sins. Jacob makes up 12 tribes, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. We make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. What do we have in common? The white man conquered us. He gave us his last name. The Arab man got stores in all our neighborhood. Teach. They took the land from my brothers, the Native American Indians, and put them on reservations. Right. Teach. Now we fill up the prison houses. Now we out trying to vote for the... I see all these signs out here about vote for me, vote for me, vote for me. When they can't do nothing. Teach. What can you do? You cannot do anything. The system is already in place. You can put as many black faces in there as you want. The system already in place. So God is telling us, this is the key. Show my people their transgressions. Right. Show up. my people their sins. Right. To turn their captivity. Sis, until somebody come out here and start teaching our people where we went wrong, we cannot get any better. We cannot get healed as a nation. You know what I want? Give me Psalms 107 and 20. I'm going to show you one more thing. So God said, go out to the highways and hedges like we're doing and tell our people what sin they're in so that they can change their sin so we can go home because America ain't our home. Right. America is not our home. We was brought here as slaves. 
You think if they brought us in on slave ship, they ever intended us intended for us to be real citizens? Teach. If I brought you over on a slave ship, put you in a barn, threw you chitlins, because you know that's how we started eating chitlins, right? Y'all know that's how we started eating chitlins? Teach. We started eating chitlins because the white man took the best part of the pig, which it ain't no best part of the pig. Right. The whole thing nasty. Teach. But they took the, the boo-boo, yeah. gave it to us, and said, y'all eat that and have a party. Right. Now in 2019 on Thanksgiving dinner, your grandma got the whole house thinking, Making chips. Not knowing that that was something that they gave us to disrespect us. Right. Read what you got. Psalm chapter 107 and 20. He sent his word and healed them. God sent his word and healed them. This is a new breed of black man that you're seeing. We not the same like we used to be. You don't think we was involved in drugs? You don't think we had multiple women? What changed us? The Bible. That's right. Because we know now we're Israelites. Right. right. The reason we're in slavery is because we broke our God's commandments. Right. Right. We have a God in heaven that holds us accountable. Amos 3 and 1. Sis, did you know God was only your God? Did you know God was only your God? What about you, brother? King, uh, did, you, did you know God was only the Israelites' God? Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Amos 3 and 1. Hear the word. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Oh, children of Israel. Why God didn't say the Chinese man? Why he didn't say the Arab man that owned all the stores? Right. Why he didn't say the white man that got his face telling you that he Jesus? Why didn't God say that? Right. Why God said, I'm talking to you, children of Israel. Read. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, all children of Israel, Read. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Say. What God say? You only have I known. What God say? You only have I known. Now God know the white man. You only have I known. You hear that, sis? God said, you, 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 you only have I known. You are the only people on the planet Earth that I know personally. Read. Of all the families of the Earth. See that? All the families God created, we only know one. Read. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. Hold on, wait a minute. It's loud over here. I want my sister to hear this. Wait till the brother pull off. Because it's real loud over here. I really want you to hear this, sis. God said something specific about you. What did he say again? Therefore, I will say it from the top. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Read it again. It's still too loud. I want her to hear this. Read. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. You only have I known of all the many people that I made. The Israelites, the only one I've known. Read. Therefore, and since I only know you, read, I will punish you for all your iniquity. So you got to ask yourself, the white man eat pork. Why he don't die from high blood pressure? Jeez. Okay, sis. The white man, the white man eat pork. Why he don't die from high blood pressure, Jeez. diabetes? Why? Why he ain't filling up the clinics? All right, sis. We hope to see you. Why? Why he don't fill up the jail cell? We ain't the only one committing crimes. Why we the one fill up populate the prison industry? Yep. Why? Because we Israelites. Yes, you right. know you an Israelite, right? Deuteronomy ten to twelve. So you know you Israel. Ma Mal um, um, Matthew three and eight. Watch this real quick, bro. So you know you Israel, that's excellent. Watch this though. God commands some of you, brother, did you? You a smart brother too, I see your spirit. Read. Look at Matthew chapter 3 and verse 8. Read. Bring forth that forth fruits, meat for repentance. You hear what God said? Now that you know you an Israelite, bring forth fruit, meat for repentance. Read. And think not to say within yourself, we have Abraham to our father. You see that? Because Abraham your father, right? You know that. You a child of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. You an Israelite. So God says, yeah, you know that. But that's not enough. Now you got to bring forth fruit, fruit meat for repentance. You congregate somewhere? Yeah. Where you congregate at? Right. Say again? Right. New Horizon. What day y'all worship on? Sunday, right? Is that the Sabbath day? Yeah. Sunday the Sabbath day? I mean, at times, you know, the Sabbath come every, every so often. The Sabbath come every seven days. I mean, what happened like The seven day of the week. Uh, every Thursday Sunday come every so often. So you say every third Sunday? Yeah, I mean, don't be wrong. I'm not a pastor. Right. So, but I right, but shouldn't your pastor be teaching Malachi 2 and 7? Let me show you something real quick. Let me show you something. Cause you said pastor. Ma uh, Jeremiah 3, I want to use the word pastor. Bring it up! Jeremiah 3, 15. He's a bishop, but he got a degree for that. We ain't got no degree. We come out here to teach the people. You see what I'm saying? Bring it up! We, God anointed us. God put the spirit on us to do what we do. You see what I'm saying? Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 1. 15. 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. God's going to give you pastors in the last days according to his heart. Right, Rick? Which shall feed you with knowledge. 
and understanding. And these pastors gonna give you knowledge and understanding. The knowledge is what? Malachi 2 and 7. What's the knowledge that you're supposed to be getting from your pastor? What's the knowledge? We'll show you if you don't know. I mean, I'm listening. Okay, I'll pray. Bring, Bring it out. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge. See that? Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. He says what? For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge. So the mm. bishop's lips shall keep knowledge, right? Read. And they shall seek the law at his mouth. And you're supposed to be uh, forcing him to teach you the laws of God. Because the laws of God is how we're going to change the community. So give me give me a law that could change our community. Give me Exodus 20, verse 8. So you said the Sabbath day, you say y'all meet every third Sunday? Or you go every Sunday? I mean, I, I don't go every Sunday. Okay, well, okay. They, they Sunday to have Sunday. Right, every Sunday, though. Right. Sunday, Sunday. Remember that? I mean, Sunday ain't with, but I fall short before. I mean, no, no, no. I'm, I, I'm glad you fall short. Yeah. Because you ain't supposed to be in there on Sunday anyway. Right. That's what we're trying to show you. Watch right. this. Read. Now, Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Read what you got. Remember the Sabbath day. God said, remember the Sabbath day. Don't y'all got a Ten Commandments somewhere in your church? Yeah. On the Fourth Commandment, say, remember the Sabbath day, right? Read. Right. Right. To keep it holy. Right. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. You hear what God says? He says six days you can make your money. Six days you labor, do all your work, right? Right, right. Read. Right. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So when you look at a calendar, what's the seventh day of the week? You sure? Well, well, you got a calendar on you? You some, got a phone? Some say it's Saturday, you know. I, some say the Bible say. According to my tradition. I'm, I'm just saying. Tradition, right, right. But we talking about what God actually says. Because right. basketball is a tradition. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But do God care about the sports? No, God don't care about LeBron James playing no ball. I, I ain't saying it perfectly right. I'm right, it's, it's, it's wrong. I'm and they're keeping our people in sin. I'm here for nothing. Right, that's what I'm saying. So God is telling us right. The seventh day of the week is the Saturday. So let me ask you a question. The seventh day of the week is Saturday, right? So why do you go? Why does your pastor teach that Sunday is the day of worship? Because, uh, uh, like you say, uh, because the white man taught us in slavery that Sunday was the day of worship. Right. But the Bible says Saturday is the day of worship. So let me ask you a question now. So if I'm in Sunday worshiping, am I really worshiping the one true God, or am I worshiping this? I'm going to show you something. Right. So you said about the heart. Okay. Jeremiah 9. I mean, what is it? Jeremiah uh, 17 and 9. Mm. Watch this. Watch this. Because God don't, because people say that all the time. That's a, that's a uh, what's the word? That's a defense mechanism yeah. in Christianity. Because when we, when we find out something is wrong in the eyes of God, the first thing we do is say God knows the person's heart. Right? But let's see what God say, though. Right. Romans chapter 17. No, uh, Jer Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Oh, you're right. right. Jeremiah. I mean, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. Watch this. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately weak. Who can know? You hear what God say? The church say, when you do something wrong, the church say, well, God know my heart. I just killed my brother, but God know my heart. I just raped somebody's wife, but God know my heart. That's what Christianity say. That's a defense mechanism. God said the heart is weak. Who can know it? You see what I'm saying? Meaning what? Your mind, because the heart talking about your mind. It ain't talking about what's popping blood. It's talking about your mind. So guess what? You got to have your heart converted. You got to have your mind converted. Because you have, for so long you've learned that the Sabbath is Sunday. The Sabbath is Sunday. That's the wrong day of worship. That's what pastor taught us. That's what master taught the pastor. Right. That's what master taught the pastor. And now the pastor teaches to the people. Not knowing it's a slave master's doctrine. It ain't the doctrine of God. What I tell you again? Romans 6 and 16. So now, you was like, I said, who is you worshiping? Is you worshiping this, meaning the black Messiah Jesus Christ, or are we worshiping the white image of Christ by going to church on Sunday? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Right. You feel me? Watch this. Read. Romans 6 and 16. Romans 6 and 16. Watch this, bro. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourself service to obey his service ye are to whom? You hear that? Read again from the top. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourself service to obey his service ye are to whom ye obey you see that so guess what the loud the, 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 the uh, paul is telling us what that look when we serve a certain image guess what we are servants to that image because we obey it this told us that sabbath was sunday the black messiah jesus christ he went to see what the church on the sabbath day he taught on the sabbath day which is saturday so that's what we're supposed to be doing. Because guess when we don't do that, look, we serving this and don't even know it. This is, you ever heard of the Antichrist? Yeah. This Antichrist right here. Go ahead. In 
name? In our own term, Jesus Christ, Yahashua, Yahshua, Yahawashah. Yeah, we, it, it's many names, but those not names, those are titles. You know what I'm saying? Basically, what I'm saying is, I, like a uh, uh, like Muhammad, I want to see, right. was you going to base it off something like this, or was you going to go into the atmosphere and we got to come from? Now, I'm, I'm, we're going to teach as it is written. Yeah, we're going to teach that because that's what the Bible tells us to do. It said we ain't supposed to teach nothing else other but that which is written. Right. right? Go back to Romans 6 and 16. I want to finish that real quick for him. Read. No, ye not. That to whom ye yield yourself service to obey, his service ye are to whom you obey. Read. Whether of sin unto death. Of, of obedience unto uh, unto righteousness. So he said, well, whoever you yield yourself to obey, that's who you become the servant of, right? Whether to sin unto death, because our people die in following this image, right? Or obedience unto righteousness. What is righteousness? You know? You got what I want? What is righteousness? Now, I, I, it's okay. I, I'm asking to kind of gauge where you're understanding it because you may know already. Because you say you knew we was Israelites, right? So as Israelites, we don't follow this. We don't go to church on Sunday. Why? Because the Sabbath day is the day of worship, the seventh day of the week. That's the day God tells us we're supposed to worship. Right. Watch this, read. Book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 16. This is righteousness. Verse 6. Verse six. This is righteousness right here, bro. Read. And they were both righteous before God, read. walking in all the commandments. An ordinance of the Lord, blameless. Meaning nobody could come to these people and say, you ain't keeping the Sabbath, you going on Sunday. No, they was keeping on Saturday, because that's what the scripture says. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's what made them righteous. Now that you mean it, it's talking to say that. Right, on the Sabbath. right, that's what made them righteous. They was righteous because they went to the Sabbath the day that God said go to the day of Sabbath. Not the day that the white man told us the day when Sabbath was. Right. See what I'm saying? So when you go to your church, you said New Horizon, that's that big old church over here on Ellis, right? Yeah. Right. So God says, no. You're supposed to go on Saturday. Guess what day we meet? Saturday. Because that's what the Bible says. Because remember, we got to remember, we got to do what God say and not what man say. That's right. You got to go to your pastor and say, excuse me, sir. What day is the Sabbath day? He says Sunday. You say, show it to me in the Bible. Because Sunday is the first day of the week. I'm, listen, I'm sure he's not going to say that. I'm sure, I know he ain't going to say it. No, I'm sure he's going I'm, I'm sure he to say that it's Saturday, but Sunday is the day that we choose to work. But we can't choose our own thing. Right. I mean, I because remember, we just read. To whom you obey, that's who you're the servant of. Because we obey that image, then we become this, and we start serving this instead of serving the one true God. And guess what we do? We lean on, give me that proverb three and five. We lean on to our own understanding. When we lean on our own understanding, this happens. We in slavery. You see what happened when we have our, we say, I'm going to have my own mind, I'm going to do my own thing. Well, that's why we in slavery, my brother. Because we don't do what God say. Watch this real quick. Give me that. That's what you get. Proverbs chapter 3 and 5. Read. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. You got trust in God with all your heart, right? Read. And lead not unto thine own understanding. But guess what? That's what we do in church. What's the understanding of God in the Bible? You know what I want? Psalms 111. Wait, it's 111? Yeah. So what's the understanding of God in the Bible? Because my understanding may say, well, this is the day that I choose to go. This is the day that my church chooses to go, right? But what is God's understanding? Watch this. Read. Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Read. A good understanding. A good understanding of the Bible, read. Have all they that do his commandments. See that? A good understanding of the Bible have the people that actually do what the Bible says. The Bible said go to worship on the Sabbath, which is Saturday. But the church said, well, I can choose what day I want to go to worship. That ain't of God. That's your own understanding. God said your understanding should be his understanding, which is his commandment. Why you think we had to pick cotton for free, bro? Why you think our last name is, is Smith, Johnson, all these different names that we know ain't ours, them European last names. That's why your pastor last name, what's the last name? Bishop what? Bishop what? Cruda? Who name that is? That ain't, that ain't our name. That wasn't the name we had when we came on here on slave ships. Hey, well, see, it's like saying that I would like to listen, but I can't listen to subtle. I ain't gonna insult you. Wait, hold on, wait. Now you see, I want you to see something. We are okay with him being insulted. Yeah. I mean, but we are not but we are not okay with somebody's step. Do you remember what the scripture said? I'm not okay with him being Exodus, I mean Ezekiel 22 and 26. I'm not okay with him being 
You should feel, you should be angry that you're being insulted. Your intelligence being insulted. I am, that's why I'm here. Right, that's what I'm saying. So we ain't gonna, I'm not insulting you by telling you that his last name the white man last name. That's what his last name is. That's what my last name, what your name is. All of us got the white man last name. We came with slavery, he beat us on our back and said your name ain't Kucha no more, it's Toby. So we understand that. We're not insulting him by saying that. That's true facts. But what I'm saying to you, why is that fact? Why is it a fact that every black person in America got the name of their slave master? Why is that a fact? That's what that should be your question. It shouldn't be, well, why y'all saying this? It should be, well, you know what? Why is that? Why is it the fact that we got our slave master last name? Well, see, the fact is, the same thing as you're saying, I mean, I had just really heard on my phone. Oh, good, 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 good. That's why I pulled it out here to here. Okay, that's what we're here to do. Yeah. But we, what we're trying to do is, we're trying to get you to come out of your sin, brother. Yeah. Because as long as we're in sin, we're going to stay at the bottom of society. All the, all these, I just try, I just, my mind fathoms sometimes because I'm like, black people are the greatest people on the earth. Right. Gee. But yet we live in the slums and the ghettos. Why? When you know our women look the best. When you know we're the best athletes, the best entertainers, the best doctors. Right. Why is it that we still at the bottom of society? Why do white men only come through here to find an abandoned building, fix it up, and then ring out to you for overcharge? Right. Why? It's got to be a reason. That's what we are here to show you, the reason that that's happening and how to get that from stop happening. That's right. The treatment of God. We are not black men, we are Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.